وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن ذا مظاهر دنو الهمة ways and forms in which low aspiration manifests إن شاء الله تعالى today we're going to go into the 23rd form in which it comes about and that is الكذب lying فالكذب عمل مرذول lying is an action that is despicable وصفة ذميمة a very bad trait وهو خصلة من خصال النفاق and it is a characteristics from the characteristics of the hypocrites وشعبة من شعب الكفر and it's a branch from the branches of disbelief وهو سبب لنزع الثقة من الكاذب and it strips away from the individual anyone to trust you والنظر إليه بعين الخيانة and people will look at you as a deceptive individual وهو دليل على ضعت النفس وحقارة الشأن وسقوط الهمة it is an indication that a person's soul and nafs is very low and حقارت الشأن and their affairs is not really high وسقوط الهمة and their aspiration is very low the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم he said as الإمام البخاري and Muslim both narrated إياكم والكذب stay away from lying فإن الكذب يهدي إلى الفجور lying leads to transgression وإن الفجور يهدي إلى النار transgression leads to the hellfire وإن الرجل لا يكذب a man or a woman would lie and carry on lying حتى يكتب عند الله كذابا until the person is written for them liar وقيل it was said ليس, it was said before about lying ليس لكذوب مرؤة a person who lies has no morality or dignity if you can lie and you make up something then it means you have no dignity whatsoever وقال بعض الشعراء في ذم الكذب some poets they said about uh, rebuking and speaking against lying they said وما شيء إذا فكرت فيه بأذهب للمرؤة والجمال من الكذب الذي لا خير فيه وأبعد بالبهاء من الرجال There is nothing that if you really think about it إذا فكرت فيه If you sit down and you think about it There is nothing um, بأذهب للمرؤة والجمال That can remove a person's honor and reputation And the beauty that the person has من الكذب lying الذي لا خير فيه there's no good in it whatsoever lying وأبعد بالبهاء من الرجال and it takes the veneration and glorification that you have lying will take that away from you and this is something that's common now ومما يؤسف عليه في هذه الأزمان المتأخرة at this time that we're living it's very common lying كثرة الكذب وقلة الصدق it's really hard to find someone who will tell you the truth and someone who will be truthful with you. It's very hard to find it. But it's easy to find someone who would lie. If you go to a shop, the one who's selling to you would lie about the products that he's selling to you. He'll say to you, this is the best. It's just recently landed. We just recently got it. Buy it. It's guaranteed. And this is that. And then when you take it, it doesn't work. When you come back, he'll say to you, oh no, we don't have guarantee for it. The... Uh, the local imam, the da'i, all of it. Qillatu sidq Finding someone who's truthful is very little. And today, walil asaf is shadeed, the people do not want to trust the truth, truthful people. They love to take the lies of those who lie. You find some people will say to you um, uh, about uh, the people sincere in giving these people reminders and telling them, fear of Allah, they prefer not to listen to them. These are the truthful people. 
they ignore them. And they want to go to the Dajjala, the deceptive people who lie to them, who lie about their religion and everything. They'll take those people. فَمَا أَقَلَّ مَنْ يَصْدُقُ فِي حَدِيثِ وَمُعَامَلَاتِ Rare you find someone who's truthful in their speech and their interactions. وَمَا أَكْثَرَ مَنْ يَكْذِبُ فِي ذَلِكِ And a lot of people will lie. you find a person فَمِنْ كَاذِبٍ عَلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِ A person who will lie about Allah and His Messenger. وَمِنْ كَاذِبٍ وَمِنْ كَاذِبٍ فِي بَيْعِهِ وَشِرَائِ A person who's lying in his trading and his buying and his selling. وَمِنْ كَاذِبٍ لِإِفْسَادِ ذَاتِ الْبَيْنِ A person who's lying to make a conflict between two people. وَمِنْ كَاذِبٍ لِإِضْحَاكِ السَّامِعِينَ A person who would lie to just make the people laugh. إِلَى كَاذِبٍ عَلَى مُخَالِفِيهِ تَشَفِّيًا مِنْهُمْ A person who would lie about his enemies or those he disagrees with or those who are his opponents. He would lie about them just so he can put them down and cause the people to hate him. وَتَشْوِيهًا لِسُمْعَتِهِمْ إِلَى غَيْرِ ذَلِكِ Present. The greatest of those one is the one who lies about Allah and his messenger. Says that Allah and his messenger said this. Uh, the Prophet said, مَنْ كَذَبَ عَلَيَّ مُتَعَمِّدًا فَلْيَتَبَوَ مَقَعَدَهُ مِنَ النَّارِ The one who lies about me and says that which I did not say, let him prepare his place in the hellfire. The one who lies in his buying and his selling. One of the ways that they say that Islam conquered or Islam spread more like in many lands in the world, such as Indonesia and other countries, is not through the sword. It was the truthfulness of the traders. They would sell their merchant and when they were asked, can I have the best quality Sidrhani for example and he knows that he doesn't have the best quality that his brother over there has the best quality they'll say to him Akhi, I don't have the best one the best one is with my brother over there go buy it from him and they were taken back by the truthfulness of the of, of, of the buyer, uh, the traders uh, and how they were truthful and it's the people came into Islam Afwaja uh, in numbers you find people who would lie about if said that till bain you want to be in conflict between two people, you lie. He said, you know so and so what they said about you? Cause mischief on the earth by lying. A person who lied to, be, to make people laugh, he calls himself a comedian. So he lies, he makes up things, and, yeah, and he, all of it is just to make the people laugh. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith, وَيْلٌ لِلَّذِي يُحَدِّثُ Well be to the one who talks. And he speaks. Why, why is he doing it? فَيَكْذِبُ And he lies. In his speech, uh, so he can make the people laugh. Well, where you'll be to that person. Another one, he sees a person that he feels something in his heart towards. He doesn't like this particular person. He makes up things regarding this person. He makes up something to put him down for people to be to not like him or two people to not appreciate him. He comes and he makes lies up. Lying, it's not a great quality. It'll destroy you. Ajila no ajila, either now or later. People make things up. The truth is the best. Number 24, inshallah ta'ala, min madahir dunu wal himma. Ways in which low aspiration is found. And that is qillatul haya. You're low in your shyness. Shyness, my beloved brothers and sisters, is khuluqun azim. Shyness is a great characteristic to have. And it beautifies a person. And if a person is stripped from shyness, and he doesn't have this quality, your level will go down. When the person is stripped from shyness, and he doesn't have it, your aspiration goes down. And the level in the community that you hold, the position that you have in the eyes of the people is very low. وَلَمْ يَعُدْ يُبَالِي And the person becomes, it doesn't care بِمَا يَصْنَعُ What he does. If shyness is stripped from you and you do not have it, you will reach a point where you don't care what you do in life. وَلِقِلَّةِ الْحَيَاءِ Shyness or reduction in shyness, lowness, having low shyness is a madhar. It's a form. It is a way of uh, no aspiration. And there are many ways in which shyness or having no shyness, we can recognize that you don't have shyness or you can recognize you don't have shyness is by al-mujahara to bil ma'asi. When the person goes out in the open and does sins. 
such as tadkhin fi al-amakin al-'amma smoking in the presence of the people wa raf'u al-aswati bil ghina or listening to music loud in or in the open have driving a car and you everyone can hear you listening to music for example in your car or uh, you play it in your house or you and, and people can hear it wa min tabarrujin a sister coming out taking off her hijab um, beautifying herself wa tabaddulin wa takashufin wa ta'arri yani not wearing islamic clothing the female the brother shaving his beard and coming out outside with no beard or uh, the brother having his garment below his ankles and walking out like that all of that is an indication of what qillat uh, al yeah, your shyness is very low wa minha also from it is kathrat al lijaji wa sibabi wa shitam you always vulgar in your speech when you talk you always have to say the f word you have to say the b word and the c word and the d word and the all the words that are evil and bad and despicable and that shouldn't be said by a muslim you say those words you insult every time you insult also from the lack of low low shyness is having no good dealings with your parents and qillatul adabi ma'al muallimin wal murabbin the people who are your teachers who taught you who exerted effort in your learning you show them no manners you disrespectful you're disrespectful towards them the people who nurtured you and raised you and took a role in educating you your teachers your mashayikh your you insult them and you speak about them in a very bad way this is all qillatul haya it's having low uh, shyness and it's an indication that your aspiration is very low the 25th inshallah ta'ala is uh, having a characteristics known as al haqd some people that have hate in their hearts grudges and hates you will find min al nas from the people man yahmilu nafsan mudlimah they have a dark nafs some people their hearts and their, their their mind if you look if they speak to you it's very dark وَقَلْبًا أَسُودٍ They have a blackened heart لا يعرف لِلْعَفْوِ طَرِيقًا وَلَا لِلْصَفْحِ سَبِيلًا They, in their vocabulary, in their dictionary, that you won't find in there the word forgiveness. It's not in their dictionary. Somehow it's missing from it. وَلَا لِلْصَفْحِ سَبِيلًا And over looking a person's error and mistake is also not there for them that word's not present um in their uh, dictionary forgive and forget they don't have that فَبِمُجَرَّدِ أَدْنَى إِسَاءَةٍ تَقَعُ فِي حَقِّهِ مِنْ أَحَدِ إِخْوَانِهِ تَجِدُهُ يَحْقِدُ عَلَيْهِ if a slight conflict happens between you and them and you have a and the mistake is on your side. You wrong them. Okay? Straight away they have animosity towards you. They have hate and grudge towards you. And it's وَلَا يَكَادُ يَنْسَى إِسَاءَتَهُ مَهْمَا تَقَادَمَ الْعَهْدُ عَلَيْهَا Ten years goes by and they still are holding on to it. فَتَجِدُهُ يَتَرَبَّصُ بِصَاحِبِهِ الدَّوَائِرِ You find that that pl person is planning and plotting against that individual. Yani 10 years have gone by, 5 years have gone by, or even days have gone by, 10 days have gone by. 3 days after you can't have something in your heart for a Muslim. The person is still planning and plotting against this person. And he's looking for minhu ghirra. He's looking for that opportunity لِيَنْفُدَ إِلَيْهِ مِنْهَا So he can execute his plan against them. And he's looking for that moment where you something happens, they come out and you see them. For example, uh, he looks for that opportunity when you're down and other people are against you. So he would use that moment and, and he would add on to it. I've, read, I've always known him like this and he is like this. He doesn't give, forgive and forget and turn a blind eye and say, this is my brother. There was a conflict that happened between me and him. Inshallah ta'ala, he asked for my forgiveness and I have forgiven him. And inshallah ta'ala, it's over. I have nothing more than that in my heart towards them. 
But no, this person is sick. His qalb is what? Nafsan mudhlima wa qalban asud. He has a nafs which is dark. He's got a sick heart and mind. He can't forgive. He can't forget. He can't overcome this feeling. He can't do that. So what does he do? He's planning and he's plotting against this person. He's looking for any way in which his anger towards this person can be fulfilled. And he wants it in a, in a painful way. He wants that person to feel it. In order to quench his thirst and hunger. So maybe someone might come out with a lie and accusation against his brother. He has something in his heart towards him from a long, long time. So what does he do? He comes in and says, yeah, I believe this is true. Doesn't research, doesn't look at it, doesn't know what it is. It could be made up, it just no. He jumps into it because he has something in his heart towards him. Pure your heart. Clean your heart for the Muslims. Clean it, forgive and forget. You are yourself not um, free from mistakes. If someone wronged you, remember how many times you've wronged Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You've done that which was not right. How many times you disobeyed Allah wa ta'ala. How many times you did what he told you not to do. And what do you expect from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What do you want from Allah? You want Allah to forgive you. That is the case. For every one of us, we want to be forgiven. The same way that we want Allah to forgive us, we should be forgiven everybody else. Every Muslim should be someone you forgive. Don't make it your life that whenever you go to sleep, that you inshallah ta'ala forgive every Muslim out there. You forgive them. If you still have it in you and you're like that, then remember you have low aspiration. وَهَذَا الْعَمَلُ This action, الْحِقْدْ is a what? مَظْهَرُ مِنْ مَظَاهِرِ دُنُوهِمَا It's an indication of low aspiration. فَهُوَ لَا يَصْدُرُ مِنَ النُّبَلَا حِقْدْ doesn't come from the noble people. وَلَا يَلِيقُ بِالْعُقَلَا And it's not something that's befitting for the smart people. الْحَقُودْ The person is filled with rage and animosity. لَا يَرْتَفِعُ لَهُ قَدْرٍ You will never see that person rise. وَلَا تَعْلُوا بِهِ رُتْمَ you will never see their position and their honor go up. Because all they do is they sit back and uh, this person, this person in their hearts. The poet, he said, لا يحمل الحقد من تعلو به الرتب ولا ينال العلا من طبعه الغضب The poet, he said, لا يحمل الحقد من تعلو به الرتب A person whose levels are going to go up and is going to reach somewhere in life he, one of the qualities that he doesn't have is that he doesn't have animosity to other people and hate and grudges and rage. La. And high positions are not for man the person whose nature is always to get angry. He suffers from anger management. He's not from the people of al-ulu, high people. No. And the person who's inshallah ta'ala going to be risen in this earth with high praise by the people. Because the people are what? Shuhada'ullahi fil ard, as the Prophet told us. The Prophet told us that the people are the witnesses of Allah on this earth. The people are the witnesses of Allah on this earth. So if they witness to a person's nobility, the Prophet ﷺ told us that this is definitely the case. So this individual who has haqd and hasad, you tend to see him that his level doesn't go up. And a person who wants to be high uh, doesn't have the characteristics of anger. You can't suffer from anger management. Yani, you're suffering deeply from anger related issues. Who's angry? Someone says two or three things, you're angry. You want to fight with them. You're taking off your shirt. Come, let's go out. If you're like that, then the truth of the matter is you're not going to ever be, ever. A person who's high. Or, or someone when you fight over something basic and small, he's speaking foul language to you. He's planning against you. He's on the side of your, your opponents. This also is not going to reach anywhere in life. They say that the tongue and the teeth are the two closest. They say. You bite yourself. And you never see your tongue leave your teeth. They stay together. They stay together. 
the two closest people are always going to have a conflict. A bit, sometimes they say in a crowded room, you're bound to step on someone's foot. You and this person are together, are close. You're bound to say something or do something that is not pleasing to the other person because you're dealing with each other on a very regular basis. What should you do? The characteristics that you need to have with you is a sabru, patience, and al afu, forgiveness. If you have those two qualities, you'll get somewhere. You're a patient person, and you're also forgiving. You don't, you forgive, 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 forgive. Remember, don't do what you don't like to be done to you. You don't, anytime someone does to you, you want to repay them back and destroy them because of what they did to you. If that's what you like to do to other people, then expect it for, for it to be done to you. You would like for people to forgive you, right? Do the same for, the, for, for those who have wronged you. Forgive them, inshallah ta'ala. And always remind yourself, we forgive other people because we want Allah to forgive us. We want Allah to have mercy upon us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The 26th, inshallah ta'ala, is mujaratu sufaha. There are some people Allah ta'ala tested them. Allah tested them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They've been tested with someone who has no manners. There's this one person in the community who will not leave you alone. He's insulting you. He's always hurling bad remarks at you. He's belittling you. He's putting you down. It might be a family relative, a family member. It might be a relative. It might be a neighbor. It might be someone you work, at, work, you work with. It might be uh, someone you're in the same uh, uh, masjid as. Someone out there is going at you, insulting you, putting you down. This person has no manners whatsoever. Don't steep to their level. Some people, what they do is they have low aspiration. When someone says something to them, they straight away want to, they want to respond. So what does he do? You go back to that person and then you go back and forth with that person. So when you go back to that person, if, he, if, if she or he said one thing bad about you, when you go back to them, so that one thing they said to you hurt you, right? So you go to them. What are they going to now say to you? Five things that are going to hurt you again. So you end up getting more things that are going to hurt you from them than what you already heard. فَيُصْبِحُ And because of that you become فَيُصْبِحُ بِذَلِكَ And because of that you become مُسَاوِيًا لِسَّفِيهِ فِي سَفَهِ so you now become like the dim-witted one that you sat with. This dim-witted individual who has no manners, no akhlaq. He's very low, insignificant. He's, as they say, he is seeking attention. He wants some recognition. You know, they say if you want to be known, urinate in the zamzam water. So the person does that. They scratch the senior people in order to get a name from it. Somehow people are going to remember you. Some people are like that. They want attention by all means necessary. If you steep to that person's level and you give them the attention that they're dying for, they want, they're begging for, if you give it to them, what tends to happen is you and this person become the same. And your level and your station goes down. The poet, he said, إِذَا جَارَيْتَ فِي خُلُقٍ دَنِيْئَا فَأَنْتَ وَمَنْ تُجَارِيهِ سَوَاءُ If you go down to a person who's like that, and you go down and you, he says a bad word, you go say bad word to them again. And you go like that and with them, then remember, you and this person are the same. You and this person are the same. Al-Ahnaf ibn Qaysin, he said it very greatly. He said, مَن لَمْ يَصْبِرْ عَلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ سَمِعَ كَلِمَاتٍ وَرُبَّ غَيْضٍ تَجَرَّعْتُ مَخَافَةَ مَا هُوَ أَشَدُ مِنْهُ If you're not patient with one thing a person says to you, uh, remember, you're going to hear words that are even worse than that one word. So if you go to that person, it was only one. If you sit down with them, it's going to turn out to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what they're going to say to you. And are you able to res re restrain yourself? Are you able to control your tongue when, you, when they say that in your face? Or are you going to say five things worse than what they said to you? And you end up becoming the oppressor now, then being the oppressed. You have to remember this. So there's not much wisdom, really, steep into the level of people who haven't been nurtured correctly. Either their parents didn't do that job, and you trying to do it now is probably not going to work, so you just leave them. They're probably going to open their mouth on someone else that is not going to be like you. And that person might cause them a physical harm 
or even something else. So you let them live. This world is ajaib, fascination. You open your tongue at this person, they might turn a blind eye because they, they don't want to steep to your level. But that doesn't mean everyone's going to be like that. Another person, you might open their tongue, your tongue to them and they might cause you harm. So you just let them live on. And they will get the jaza of their own actions. Maybe in this world or the hereafter. Never steep to the level of that person. However much he talks about you and hurls evil remarks about you and says what he says. Keep your composure. Don't let that despicable individual who speaks in that way control your, your emotions. That's fascinating, right? How can someone who's there over there control the way I think or the way I act? No, I should be controlling myself. I should be controlling myself. I should know when to speak and what not, when not to speak. So restraining yourself and controlling yourself, having, having sabr and resilience is a quality, a noble quality. فَلَيْسَ مِنَ الْحِكْمَةِ وَلَا الْمُرُوءَةِ It's not from wisdom وَرَبِّ الْكَعْبَةِ And it is not from dignity and honor. أَنْ يَتَعَرَّضَ الْمَرْءُ لِهَأُولَاءِ to present yourself to these type of people, to go forward to talk to these type of people, to entertain these type of people. Don't. وَإِنَّمَا تَمَامُ ذَلِكَ أَنْ يُعْرِضَ عَنْهُمْ The best way, the most complete form is to turn a blind eye. قُلْ مُوتُوا بِغَيْضِكُمْ Die with your rage and anger. Just keep it moving. Don't entertain it. وَيَدَعَ And leave off. وَيَدَعَ مُجَارَاتُهُمْ وَالْحَدِيثَ مَعَهُمْ Leave off argument, argument, arguing with these people and talking with these people. Don't. If there happens to be a situation, uncomfortable situation that you're put in, that you meet this type of person, what do you do? Just say salam alaikum to them. And keep it moving. The ayah, what did it say? خُذِ الْعَفْوَ وَأْمُرْ بِالْعُرْفِ وَأَعْرِضْ عَنِ الْجَاهِلِينَ Turn away from the ignorant ones. This person is from the ignorant ones. Turn away from them. That's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say assalamu alaikum and walk away. The look what the poet said. He said, لا ترجعن إلى السفيه خطابه إلا جواب تحية حياكها فمتى تحرك تحرك جيفة تزداد نتنا إن أردت حراكها. The poet he said, لا ترجعن إلى السفيه خطابه. A dim-witted person do not respond back to them. إِلَّا جَوَابَ تَحِيَّةٍ حَيَّاكَهَا Except a greeting that you give to them. Say, Assalamu Alaikum. Or he said to you, Assalamu Alaikum, say, Wa Alaikum Assalam. And response. Don't indulge or go into a, uh, a conversation or a dialogue with that person. فَمَتَى تُحَرِّكُ تُحَرِّكْ جِيفَةً If you start going back and forth with them, it's like a dead corpse. If you move it, the smell will increase, right? It's already smelling. If you move the dead corpse, what will happen? It will smell even more. And once it smells more, you will not like the smell, would you? This person, if you move them, you will get from them that which is not pleasing. فَمَتَى تُحَرِّكُ تُحَرِّكْ جِيفَةً تَزْدَادُ نَتْنًا إِنْ أَرَدْتَ حِرَاكَهَا So stay away from it. Leave them alone. Let them believe what they want. Let them say what they want. وَإِلَى اللَّهِ تَجْتَمِعُ الْخُصُومِ To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all disputes and argumentations and discord will be brought in front of Allah Yom Al-Qiyamah. Allah will bring that issue to a, a, a conclusion. A verdict will be passed by Alim Al-Ghayb, the one that sees the unseen. The one that knows what's in the chests of the people. He's going to bring it forward that day Yom Al-Qiyamah. He's going to judge the creation. Leave it to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. Don't always try to get your rights in this world. It puts you down sometimes. It humiliates you. It shows that you lack the faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah tabarak wa ta'ala giving you what is better than what you are trying to attain from giving, getting your rights inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to stop there. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allah wa bihamdi. Ashadu wa la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that 
with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.